Let's take a look at another piece of software, Photos for Mac. Now, this obviously is Mac-only software, but you have the ability to use plugins inside of it. First up, go into your Apple menu and choose System Preferences. You'll then want to choose the Extensions category and select Photos Editing. From here, you need to choose which tools you want to use inside of Photos for Mac. For example, if I enable Aurora HDR, it'll now be available, as is Luminar from Skylum. I'll close this and now simply open this into Photos for Mac. And once you've imported the image, you can double click on it to open. When you click the Edit button, you'll see, of course, all of the adjustments that Photos for Mac can do. You can take advantage of any of these. But if you want, you have the ability to click on this More icon here and choose Aurora HDR. Now, what happens is Photos for Mac hands the image off from Photos for Mac into Aurora HDR. It'll open up the file and you can take advantage of any of the presets or the manual adjustments. Let's go here and do something a little more stylized. I'm gonna choose some of the dramatic presets and I'm gonna go with a dramatic black and white image. Like that. Let's just make a small change here under color. I'm gonna actually bring some of the saturation back just ever so slightly. I like that. And now I'll click Save Changes. When I do that, a new image is written and saved back to my Photos for Mac library. Now you see the image is handed off. If I decide that I want to make any further changes over here in Photos for Mac, I can do so. It continues to be editable. So for example, let's put on a little bit of a stylistic vignette there, darkening the edges down. And we'll adjust the softness there just slightly. And I like it. When I choose Done, that image is written to the library. If you ever need to, you can click Edit and all of the adjustments remain editable. However, you also have the original file still stored in your library. A quick click on the Revert to Original button and all of the edits that you applied with Photos for Mac and Aurora HDR are removed. So you can edit freely knowing that you've always got the original photo backed up inside of your library.